We end tonight with a mystery from the deep. Scientists on the West Coast are at a loss to explain what is killing sea stars, also known as starfish. Ben Tracy says in some places, 95% of the starfish population has died. Along these edges here, there would have been sea stars, orange and purple sea stars at low tide. Marine biologist Pete Ramondi showed us the tide pools along California's Monterey Bay. Thousands of bright sea stars usually line these shores. In less than two months, they vanished. How big of a mystery is this as to what's going on here? It's immense. I mean, that's probably, from a scientific point of view, one of the most intriguing things is we have no obvious culprit. His University of California Santa Cruz research team is finding six sea stars underwater, their limbs falling off, their bodies disintegrating. How quickly does it go from healthy sea star to nothing? A sea stars can go from perfectly healthy to completely decomposed overnight. This time-lapse video shows a sea star infected with white lesions. One by one, it loses each of its arms. This happened in just seven hours. This wasting disease is typically caused by bacteria. It often happens during El Nino years when ocean temperatures warm and bacteria grows more quickly. But there is no El Nino now, and the disease is more widespread than ever, stretching from Alaska to Southern California. This was a healthy sea star population last year near Vancouver, Canada. This is what it looks like now. We've never seen it like this, never. It's changing the ecosystem on the coast because sea stars eat these black-shelled mussels. So these mussels are just going to take over because nothing's eating them anymore. That's right. Scientists say they don't know how much worse this die-off will get and that it could be generations before these shores are once again painted purple and orange. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Santa Cruz, California.